Hey everybody, Shane Armin Rowe here, and today I'm going to show you this great little device, which is essentially a USB switch box. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, why do I need to have this? Well, the truth be told is, if you have a computer and your Steam Deck on the same table and a mouse and keyboard, you might actually want to share them between the two. That's where this little guy comes into play. As you can see, you can have two in and four out, which is exactly what we're looking for. Two and then four devices can be plugged into the USB at the same time. So let's just get right to it. I mean, you know you're probably here. All you wanna do is see how this thing works and how it looks, what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? So we get our little switch box. By the way, I've been using one of these forever. This is an extra one that I bought just to show off here. So you have the switch box itself and you have, believe it or not, all the cables you actually need to get the job done, which is absolutely fantastic. You don't have to buy that stuff separately. All right, so here's the box. We're gonna go ahead, pop this little guy open. We'll make this speedy. And as you can see, it's exactly what they say. You have two devices to four USB ports, which is great. That gives you mouse, keyboard, external drive, whatever you want. All right, so in this case, we're going to be using the keyboard and mouse as our USB devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the keyboard and the mouse, right? They will become our first set of devices to go in. And you could use something like this even to give yourself a shared uh, ethernet experience, right? We're not gonna use that today. Salacious Crumb will take care of that. But I do happen to have this M2 external drive, which will be absolutely perfect. So we'll plug that guy in. All right, and I still got room for one more. So I could put, uh, you know, maybe some sort of an ethernet adapter, which would be perfect. Okay, so there we go. So we've got that set up. Included are these cables, which is a micro USB, which is not ideal, but we may not need it. We may not need it. And then you have two sets of cables. Both are USB three, and they are both male to males, which is exactly what we need. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna plug this guy into here for device one. We'll open the other one up. Hey, stop it. Yeah, I didn't help at all, did I? Okay, salacious crumb, you're supposed to be taking care of that. All right, we'll plug this guy in. All right, so, okay, we've got a little cable mess here, but that's, you know, that's not a big deal. You can, you can work that out on your own. Okay, so I'm gonna plug one into my USB on the PC. Light comes on. And just to make sure we're talking the same thing here. I'll switch. Oh, I just heard the computer come on. Yep, there we go. It, oh, and it also tells me I need to format my drive, which is formatted to EXT4 for use on the deck. So as you can see, the drive came in, my mouse is obviously here, and of course, my keyboard is here. Awesome, which is perfect. So now, now I've got a switch box that'll let me switch these three items to another input. Now, you probably already figured out that, well, I'm gonna need something for this. Hopefully, you already have a hub, like I do. I've got the Anchor 7-in-1 hub. I'll give you a video so you can see what that looks like. Obviously, you could also use a USB-C adapter, which you know what? I might actually have one of those laying around. All right, so you're gonna need something like this probably in order to adapt your Steam Deck. Now remember, this isn't gonna charge anything. Um, oops, this over just a little bit. I want to cover those heating vents. Plug that in, and we can plug the switch box in. Now, once again, I'd like to point out though, that if you already have a hub connected, you're gonna be able to plug this right into the hub and everything will be great. We're just using an adapter for the purposes of the video to show you how things work. Now at this point in time, I should be able to switch to the other side. And I heard a beep, so it just, oh, there it is, there's my mouse. And I can go ahead and switch to desktop mode. I'll prove to you that the drive is actually mounted. 
Now look at that. And if we take a look, there's my one terabyte external right here, mountain open. There we go. And so it's here. So you'll also notice that I had to provide no power to this. I did not have to use the included power adapter. Now your mileage may vary depending on what sort of things you're plugging into this guy, but honestly, shouldn't be a problem. By the way, now I know why I had this laying out. I prepped this video days ago. This was supposed to act as our hub. <laughs> but you know, listen, a lot of people, and I'm glad that this is uh, available, a lot of people will get one of these with their mobile devices. Like my, all of my Samsung phones came with one of these exact type devices so that you could do a cable to cable with your old phone, with your new phone. Anyway, that's it. So here's the device right here. There will be a link in the description below. Uh, of course, we do get a little commission for when you buy from the channel. We appreciate it very, very much. Uh, this, this is a nice little device. It works great. I've got it on my daily driver unit. Uh, this is not obviously my daily driver setup, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. This is fantastic. The only thing it doesn't really give you from a KVM point is a monitor change out, which would be pretty cool. Um, but that starts to get really expensive when you have a proper KVM. So this is just a, instead of keyboard video and mouse, it's just keyboard mouse. So it's a KM. <laughs> All right, guys, this is Shane Armand Monroe. As always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And, uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.